now. Uh, you can see the mirror's all cleaned up now. There's no reflective left on it. I'm just going to rinse it. And that's that. by your foot there and rinse me off here. I'm going to take it inside and clean it again. I want to make sure. Yeah. Alright, so we're picking up on Dave's 10-inch mirror. We got the... Uh, the aluminum coating stripped off. Uh, we still need to, to do a final, you know, sterile cleaning to it. Well, not sterile, but a really good cleaning to it. But um, we got his mirror. We got the aluminum stripped off. We've dried it off. We're doing a, a test fit in the chamber to make sure that the the brackets inside are set up so it'll hold the mirror nice and secure. Because it'll be terrible to have the mirror fall over while it was pumping down and and run into the nice hard steel parts inside and shatter that mirror that he's probably put a, a hundred hours or more of labor into and um, so anyway we've got uh, two posts here with rubber uh, buna rubber wrapped around the outside and uh, same idea here on the top side these are these are plastic by the way they're kind of cool they're, they're nylon actually nylon bolts um, the rest are stainless steel but regular steel works it's not really very picky but anyway we got the mirror test, uh, test fit we're going to take it out we're going to do the good cleaning process and uh, we'll remount it. We got all our aluminum loaded. Uh, the DP pump, diff pump is warmed up and ready. The water's flowing. Um, so we just got to clean this, mount it, pump it down, and evaporate. So we'll catch up with you in a minute. All right. Now that we got the mirror stripped, we're gonna we're gonna clean it here in the kitchen sink using tap water, precipitated calcium carbonate um, chalk. It's it's a real real fine soft powder. Um, and original Windex and Viva paper towels because they have a nice cottony type feel to them and they're real soft and they're, they're really good for, for cleaning stuff. They're nice and compliant. They're not scratchy like the cheap paper towels. Uh, cotton pads or whatever else you have will work too. Uh, freshly, linen, co freshly washed cotton linen will work. Uh, but Viva paper towels are cheap and quantiful and uh, fit the bill. So we're going to wet it. We're going to put the calcium carbonate on it and scrub it with a paper towel and uh, we'll rinse it three or four times with hot warm water and uh, then we'll spritz it with some Windex and clean it up and that'll be that and in the chamber it goes all right so we're getting ready to start cleaning we've got our mirror rinsed off with our Viva paper towel we're going to wet it with warm tap water Pick up a little bit of the calcium carbonate, and we'll put it in the puddle and make it into a paste, and we're going to rub. And let me see if I can show you this. See how there's spots, see how that water beaded up here, it's like it's waxed. We need to make that go away, and um, that's just surface tension making it want to beat up. So by cleaning it with the uh, calcium carbonate, we'll get whatever oils or stuff we've gotten on there with our fingers off, and it should wet out. Um, so that's pretty much all we're doing. We try to make very concise patterns, clean the bevel, because you get crap in the bevel that'll wick in. The biggest thing that'll kill you are, are fingerprints and oil. Um, and then when it dries, you'll get, as, as, the, as you clean it, when the Windex dries, if you're not careful, you can get streaks and stuff. Um, so we'll show you a trick in that here in a minute. So, alright, back in a moment. We're going to do this a couple more times and then rinse the crap out of it. We're going to keep it kind of on the, the mirror at about that distance right there. Okay. And uh, I think it's recording that. Yeah, it's recording. Alright, so we got our calcium carbonate. Make a little puddle. Get to soften up in the puddle. 
and then we just scrub putting a little bit of pressure on not much nice swirls we kind of make sure we cover all our parts and using warm tap water we'll rinse we'll pitch that paper towel and do another I like to do everything in everything in threes so we get three washes and three rinses rinses what three washes and three rinse cycles paying attention to the bevel keep the bevel cleared calcium carbonate scrub two times prior to this starting so one more good rinse here Got my fingers We're washing while we keep rinsing so that anything we get stirred up will hopefully get rinsed off very quickly We're rotating You've polished the mirror before a lot of this will be familiar notice how it doesn't tend to uh, beat up like a wax car surface that's a good sign Get the angle so you can see the reflection. Oh. No, 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 you don't need to move your head. Just get down there. We're looking for, yeah, right there. Okay. Maybe it'll show up. So what I'm looking for, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see water spots in the reflection off the lights. So I'm just drying the mirror now to get the surface dry. And I'll start with a new paper towel. And give it just a light spritz of Windex. This will be another clean. I don't know if you can see the rainbow effect. When it's real clean and dry, the paper towel will float right over with nothing there. And then the last cleaning will be just a spritz on the towel just to wet the towel a little bit and then a very I hope that camera for a minute see if I can demonstrate this let's see alright yeah there you go Alright, so as I come over, we're looking for the little bit of mist. Kind of turns into a vapor cleaning. Yeah, I'm going to say that mirror's clean. Now we just dry the backside and take it out to the chamber. <laughs> 